Hi everybody, my name is Miss Laura and I am a librarian at Pleasant Hill. And this fall, I'm gonna do a story time, chapter book story time, that I hope that you will join me. Um, for the next nine weeks, we're gonna be reading a book called Stella Bats Needs a New Name. And it's by Courtney Scheinmal and the illustrations are by Jennifer A. Ball. Every week, I'll read the book and we can go through the adventure of what Stella is going through. Um, I hope that you'll join me. We're gonna start with the introduction and then next week, I will be starting with chapter one. So I look forward to going through this with you and I hope you'll join me. Have a great day. Stella Bats Needs a New Name by Courtney Scheinmail illustrated by Jennifer A. Bell. Introduction. That means some background at the beginning of a story. My name is Stella Batts. I'm going to be a writer when I grow up because writing is one of my favorite things. Except I'm not waiting until I grow up because this is my first book. It's going to be an autobiography. That means I'm writing it all about me. I am eight years old. I live in California. I was born in a hospital in a city called San Francisco, and now I live in a house in a town called Summers. My favorite place in Summers is my parents' candy store, which is called Bats Confections. Confections is just a big word that means candy. They sell M&Ms, gumdrops, jelly beans, toffee, and basically any other sweet you can imagine. There's also a special fudge counter. The fudge is made at our store, and it's called Stella's Fudge. It's named after me because fudge is one of my favorite things to eat. I know how to make it too, but I'm not allowed to write it here because it's our family secret recipe. Here are some of my other favorite things. Number one, the color yellow. Number two, using big words. Number three, dolphins. Number four, getting to press the buttons in elevators. And number five, making lists. When this book is finished, it's going to be in all the bookstores and anyone can buy it. It'll say, buy Stella Bats in big letters on the cover. I'll be famous and people will know my name, except my name is not one of my favorite things. Last week, something happened on our class nature walk that I don't really want to write about. This is my book, so I get to pick what's in it. But afterwards, this boy in my class named Joshua, he called me Smella. He would have never said what he did if I was born with a different name. Also, I think maybe if I had another name, it would look better on the cover of a book. I'm not sure what else I should write, so that will be the end of my introduction.